Scott, how would you assess the season so far for yourself and the, and the team? Yeah, um, it's been a wee bit up and down, probably for myself. Uh, I thought I finished the season really strongly last year, um, especially as a team. I thought we finished it really strong. Um, and it was obviously just trying to carry that through pre-season. And you know, as a team, we've been a wee bit up and down as well, trying to find consistency. Um, but as I say, I just keep my head down in training and try to show the manager that you know I, I want to be in the team and I'm here to fight for my spot. This break that's upcoming, do you use this as a, a refreshing break or just time to breathe and maybe gather your thoughts and, and look ahead to the, the rest of the year? Definitely. I think um, as, a, as a whole team, we need to do that. Um, as you say, it's a sake of stop, kind of refresh um, and come back ready to go again and look to kick on. As a player, there's been obviously a lot of things happening on the pitch this year. How different is it as VAR? made it being on the pitch this year, or has it been different at all? Um, I'd say we're, we're the lucky ones, but we've uh, obviously we've experienced VAR before in terms of European competitions, so we kind of know everything that comes kind of along with it, you know, the breaks in play. Um, so, you know, we're, we're used to it as a, as a club and we kind of know what the, you know, what to do with it, really. So no surprise to you then? No, not so much. Um, no, not really. Scott, there's been a lot of uh, pressure on the manager in recent weeks. How has that impacted on the squad? Um, it's a sake of obviously, as I said before, it was a sake of all of us just making sure we, we stuck together in the changing room, um, and you know tried to improve our performances really because we knew our performances weren't at the level they should be. Um, it's a sake of getting back out on the training pitch and, and working harder than before. Sitting here just now, how do you assess the title chances? Obviously, I've always got to. We've always got to believe. Um, you know, we're still in for a chance of the title. Um, and you know we're, every player in that change room believes as well. Is there any margin for error at this point in time? It's obviously there's a long, long way to go in the season, um, and we know that. Obviously, we've seen what happened last year as well. So it's the sake of just focusing on ourselves and making sure we get back to the levels we want to be at. How big a result for the dressing room and for the manager did that win against Hearts really feel? Yeah, um, every game is a big game here. Uh, no matter who you're playing, every result's a big result. Um, so it's the sake of not trying to get too carried away with the outside noise and making sure we focus on ourselves and taking each game as it comes. How's the last couple of months been for you, personally? Uh, yeah, as I said before, it was a sake of it it's being a bit up and down, kind of trying to get in the team and, and trying to really grab that spot and make it my own. Um, but, you know, I'm not here to, to complain about it. I'm here to kind of get my head down and, and show the boss when I get the chance to, if I get a chance in the team, pretty much to try and make sure I, I can stay in the team. Do you feel you did that when you came on at midweek? Yeah, hopefully. Um, I th it was thought it was just to try and come on, bring a bit of energy and uh, bring what I can to the team, uh, my qualities. Uh, so yeah, um, I just obviously want to bring my qualities to the game whenever I can, whether that's from the start or from the bench. My, my main goal is to, to help the team. Does it feel like that right wing spot is up for grabs because you've played there, Fashion Sakala's played there, Rabi Matondo, we've seen Scott Arfield, Malik Tillman as well. Does it feel like that is one that you know there's quite a few players vying for? Yeah, um, obviously there's always going to be kind of rotation in the team because we've got such a big squad and the competition for, for places in that forward area is, is always going to be tough. Um, and as I said, it's the sake of if you kind of get you know the shirt for the game, make it your own and um, if you do enough in the game, try and keep that spot. You talked about there being outside noise. As players, is it important to sort of insulate yourself from that and not focus too much on it and kind of keep the focus in the dressing room, making sure that you're doing the right things in the training pitch and taking that out onto the pitch? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, when you're at a big club like this, there's always going to be noise. Um, and it's the sake of making sure you keep it quiet as much as possible and, as you say, keep it everything in-house, make sure we're doing the right things and kind of just keep making sure we're doing the right things and keep going on. As a wide player, are you pleased for, for Ryan Kent to get back to a decent form at the week in the second half? And on Wednesday night, he's had a lot of criticism this year and you know a lot of expectation on his shoulders. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think you know Ryan obviously has so much expectation on him because we all know what he can do. He's such a, he's an important player for us. Um, and I think on his day, he's, he's one of the best in the league, absolutely. Did you take a lot of confidence from the Hearts win or was there still a bit of apprehension in, in the, around the squad because there is pressure to get points this weekend? No, there's always pressure to get points. As I said, when you're at a big club, there's always pressure to get points. Um, and obviously we can take the confidence from that, that past result, but it's try to take as much confidence from each game um, and take the, the positives and negatives from each game, work on them and, and take them into the next game coming. Has the manager's message this week going into this last game been that it's three points, it's one last push before you can break for a few weeks? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Last weekend against Johnson, 
Bills they failed to beat might get a similar game against St. Mary with them sitting in and, and you guys happen to create the space and, and the chances. Why do you think you've struggled against that at points of the season and, and what have you been doing as a team to try and rectify that and look at the exit tomorrow? Um, yeah, obviously we in the St Johnston game. I think we started the game quite well and we created chances. And I think it was just a point of of taking the chances. Um, you know, when you play against a low block, it's important to try and get an early goal. Um, and if you don't, obviously it kind of gives that the opposition a bit more confidence to try and grow into the game. Um, I think it's important for us if we we come out the traps quite quick to to get an early goal and try and build from that. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic news for Borna. Um, well deserved. You know, I think he's been in, in good form. Um, and as you say, it's such an honour to be to be called up for your national team, especially it's such a big competition. So everybody will be watching um, Borna over this wee break and, and cheering him on. Absolutely. Yeah, we know it's going to be a tough game. Um, you know, we've seen they've had some big results at home, as you say. Um, it's the sake of us focusing on ourselves when we get there and, and making sure we bring a, a top level performance. Yeah, and um, some fans have raised questions on the team's fitness levels this season. What would you say to that? Um, I would say, obviously, we had a, a really strong pre season with the, with the boss. Um, and yeah, I would say I can see. Um, you know, I thought we've we've been kind of strong in games, and it's the sake of uh, you know the level we've played against this year. And, and some games have been really top, um, but it's the sake of us kind of you know taking this break, coming up to to try and refresh and and really kick on when we come back. Yeah, 